Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about a new type of onboarding. Are you ready? Well, let's get started. Onboarding. You've heard that term. You probably use it in your organization. You probably have a process or a program or something that happens when new employees join your organization. It's called onboarding. And onboarding is about giving new employees the footing and the foundation to be successful, right? To learn how to use the resources that are available to them, to learn the rules in the organization and the rules of the road about their job and about the organization, to get a picture of the ideas for which the organization stands, to know what the organization is trying to accomplish, to figure out how to navigate through the organization and who knows what and who do I go to when I have problems. Uh, it's certainly about signing all of the forms so they can be an employee and all of those things. And, and lastly, people definitely need to know where the bathrooms are. So for a variety of reasons, we want to onboard people. Why? Because we don't want them to flounder and we want productivity more quickly, right? It's a worthy goal. How can we get people up to speed more quickly? How can we help them be more successful more quickly? Now, if you're thinking about your new leaders and supervisors in your organization, wouldn't you want the same thing for them? Wouldn't you want them to get up to speed more quickly? Wouldn't you want them to know what's expected of them? Wouldn't you want them to have greater productivity for themselves and their teams more quickly? I think the answer is absolutely yes. So are you doing that? Are you, do you have a process? Do you have a program? Do you have a way? Do you even have a checklist of things to help new supervisors be successful? Not as new employees, but as a new supervisor in your organization? I'm guessing the answer is no. So let's look back at that onboarding list of things that I shared with you, right? Number one, uh, if we could help our new supervisors learn the expectations of the work, to learn what really needs to happen in the work, to help them know exactly what is expected of them in their supervisory role, would they get up to speed more quickly? Yes if we could help them learn the resources that are available to them, learn the resources that will help them be more successful. Who can they go to? Who has answers to the problems and questions and challenges they might have? If they could learn the rules of the road, learn the rules of the organization. And lastly, if they could learn the big picture of the organization and have the context of the mission and what we're trying to accomplish from the leadership perspective in this organization. If we could do those four things, wouldn't those new leaders be more successful more quickly? Don't we want to get our new supervisors up to speed and more successfully more quickly? I think we do. And in fact, you could argue as important as that is for our new employees, it's at least as important for our new supervisors, and yet we don't do it. It's at least as important, maybe more so, for new supervisors and leaders. Why? Because everything that a leader does has a ripple effect in the rest of the organization. So if they're floundering at some level, so is their team. If they're not as productive, or they don't really know what the vision is and where they need to be heading, then they're impacting the rest of their team at the same time. Listen, I'm suggesting to you today a new type of onboarding, some way that you can more effectively onboard your new supervisors and frontline leaders so that they can be more successful more quickly. Let me close with today's tweet. Set new supervisors up for success with an intentional onboarding process. We have a video series called 13 Days to Remarkable Leadership. They were recorded right in this studio. Each of them is short, like the video you just watched, but each of them is told as a story leading to an important point about being a more effective leader. And beyond what you've just experienced, it is a story, it has a point, but it also has a tool attached with it, a checklist, a tool to help you implement the idea or the leadership principle that we've talked about. It's called 13 Days to Remarkable Leadership. It's free and it's yours when you sign up with the information available on this page. I hope you'll do that, and I hope you'll be back right here next week for another episode of Remarkable TV.